I'm going to walk you through how to easily create a log file and a do file and then show you how to merge multiple data sets. A log file is simply a, a record of everything you typed into Stata and every result you got back. A do file is a set of commands that you might want to use over and over again. Um, instead of having to retype all of them, the do file will contain all those commands. Um, merging multiple data sets is pretty self-explanatory. In order to create a log file, go to File, Log, Begin. I strongly encourage you to switch the log type to .log. .log. That will generally allow you to open um, the file you create in any kind of text editor and you won't necessarily need Stata. So you should be able to open that log file, say at home or on your laptop, instead of in the library. Uh, you can name the file whatever you'd like. Make sure you know where the location of the file is going to end up so you can actually open it and find it when you need it. Click Save. And then whenever you make commands, like for example if you want to open the data set, say this one from last year, uh, and run any kind of commands, let's do a regression, REG for regression, um, and just pick a couple variables, you get results, then you can go to File, Log, Close. And then you can actually go and look at your log and it'll have all those same results that you just uh, found when you did your calculation. So there is my command to use that data set and then I command to run the regression and there's the results of the regression. Um, so that's how you use a log file. Uh, let's say that you want to create a do file to keep track of all the commands you've given and to be able to use them multiple times. Uh, in order to do that, go to file, do, this lets you pull up any do file you've already created. If you don't have one uh, that you've already created, then you can um, create one right here. Um, let's use the commands that we just used a second ago. I'll show you how to move them over into the do file. So if you click on an old command you use in state, it'll pull up that command. So I'm going to copy that command we just used, paste it into the do file. And then I want to copy the regression we just ran. I want to copy that over, put it in the do file. So those commands are now saved. So I'm going to name that one something like we did a minute ago and click save. Now close that, close Stata completely, open Stata again, go to file, do, there's my do file click open and it runs my commands again without me having to type anything in. So it saves the commands that you'd like to use in the future multiple times so you have to type things in over and over again. Now let's say that I wanted to merge two data sets. I don't have any example data sets for this because I haven't used anything recently that would allow me to merge but the commands are actually quite simple. Go to file, uh, I'm sorry data, combine data sets, merge two data sets. All you need to do is tell it what type of merge it's going to be, so one-to-one -one with key variables. Um, so you're just matching on these key variables, one data set to one data set matched. The key variable is whatever the name of the variable um, that is in both data sets that you can use to match the two data sets. So for example, if you have a data set, the name um, of the key variable, the matching variable being ID, like the ID of an individual person in your data set, then the key variable is ID. And then the file, of the, uh, the file name for the other data set, you just click on browse and you can pick the other data set that you want to merge with. As long as the data set you already have open and the data set you're going to use have the same identifying variable in there, the merge will work. If they don't, like in this case, it will tell you that that merge ID is not valid because it's not in both data sets. In this case, it's not in either data set. Um, but merging is pretty straightforward. Um, if you need to do something called appending, which means that if you have the, the same data over multiple years, like if you had information on everyone in an in econometrics class this year and everyone in the econometrics class next year, you might not have a unique identifier you want to merge on, you might want to have the information from every year in the same data set, which means you want to stack the data sets on top of each other. In that case, you want to append data sets, in which case you're stacking variables on top of each other. You already have one open, tell it where the other one is, and it will start stacking them and then you can add more and more if necessary. Uh, and that's all. If you have questions, please let me know.